Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at a deck I call Shipping Wiz Witchers. Um, I noticed that Ship Skellige didn't have very many uh, gold cards, and there are a lot of gold witchers, so I took the two packages of the Witcher package and the uh, Bronze Ship package, and I merged them together to make this deck for Skellige. All in all, I think it's a fairly effective deck. You, I put in a lot of um, Swiss Army Knife cards, so I have Locking, I have Artifact Removal st as still. There aren't very many ship cards, so I still had a lot of slots left. So on first deck I'm up against is an Artifact deck that uses Avalok. I don't have my Artifact Removal in my hand, so I'm kind of like stuck on what to do. Play Siri. So my opponent has the option to uh, take out my Siri. They've already played three gold cards, so I'm uh, quite happy with this. A lot of players are still thinking in the old Gwent style of over-tempoing. I made a mistake there of using my hero ability on a card that was already boosted. I should be using it on wounded characters in order to get that bloodthirst activated if I need it. So my opponent uses their leader ability to take out Siri uh, and get the Sahil charged up. I don't mind. I'm going to use three cards regardless of what my opponent does. So Kosair might have been a good choice here instead of the light uh, boat ship. Okay, my opponent makes a huge mistake here. Why would you ever... Not only... Are you kind of asking for me just to pass? You just played like a ton of points. Now, of course, if you play Sahil and your opponent doesn't have uh, artifact removal, that's great. But I have artifact removal and so I can handle this. And I have plenty of gold cards in my hand because I didn't commit all my gold cards. So I could cleaver that or I could just lock it. I think locking it's better than just using Cleaver at the moment. While Cleaver is very powerful as the opener card, I'd rather not. Cosair is pretty good. It's only going to do two damage, so it's a five point play, but I can live with that. So here my opponent uses Thunderbolt Potion. Thunderbolt Potion is a really strong card against me. Because I can't really counter it. It prevents me from using my artifact removal. So I could have used um, Cleaver here, but I felt better to just have the Longboat Ship bait out um, my opponent's leader ability. Okay. Now it's a good time to pull out the Cleaver. Whack him. Now I have Artifact Removal. Removal. <laughs> oh, hit that. I don't feel like I'm going to get another opportunity to use uh, Geralt Professional, so I'm going to do it now. Because my opponent's not doing a lot of a lot of boosting. Geralt Professional is still a great card, though. Okay, I, I strategically saved Mulligans there so that I would have enough mulligans um, to play at the very end. So I know that I want to be careful with what I play, but I also want to bait out my opponent's leader ability. The Longboat is a great card for just getting your opponent to like use removal on it. It's a bronze card. Yes, it's expensive bronze card, but it's not a ridiculously expensive one. It's only, well, I think it's like six provisions, maybe uh, seven. So it is, it's, it's on the high end of bronze. I'm going to use my leader ability every chance I get, even though it might, uh, it can sometimes hit me in the butt. This card only can hit melee, which is going to surprise me because this is one of my first times using the deck. Caretaker comes out, pulls out the obvious card that I'm ups uh, worried about, and he my opponent strategically uses the boost to prevent me from using removal. Um, I don't want to put anything on the board that my, my opponent might be able to use against me. 
My opponent's going to bring it my Corsair down to one so they can start getting their Sahil upgraded. But this is also going to give me the opportunity to wound something and take out the my opponent's win condition. I'm going to leave the card in the melee row because I can remove it with Wild Boar of the Sea. Because Wild Boar of the Sea is going to do two damage to every wounded character in the back row. Okay, my opponent gave me another um, thing that I can ping off with Wild Boar of the Sea, but instead of using Wild Boar of the Sea, I'm going to use one of those charges since I'm probably not going to get a chance to use it. I saved my Witcher Trio. Um, it's very important to do that. You shouldn't blow it off in the fr first round like my opponent did. It's, it's a waste of provisions. You want to save that power until the second or third round. If you save it to the second round, it might be if you used all your mulligans. Um, and you save it till the third round if you still have mulligans left. So my opponent is using a Witcher deck just like me, but they're using um, the leader ability. I actually don't like what, this strategy because you're not getting a lot of points from the mentor. It's okay, but there are better things to use your leader ability on than um, Vesemir Mentor. I'm going to use my Corsair as well. I still have it. I use the... Um, I use Geralt Professional just so that I could stay into this round reasonably. My opponent decided to kind of go all, pull out at least four gold cards this, this game. And so, yeah. My opponent could easily pass here for card advantage. Trying to see if I have five points. Now they've played a fifth gold card. I'm going to just pass. I've sacrificed one gold card and uh, three bronze. I'm happy. I can easily also maintain card advantage. I wish I had drawn into my Vesemir Mentor. So my opponent just got one of the best options for Spotter. For spotter. I'm going to start off with Corsair. Corsair is always strongest first. Got the worst option for <laughs> Spotter that time. You want to play the Longboat early so that you can get start getting value from it. Now, my opponent doesn't have any wounded cards. So can't wound a Spotter because it doesn't have any... Um, it only has one base strength. So my opponent can easily just remove it. Okay. That was a good... One for my opponent. I'm going to pull out my Witcher Trio so I can stay in this round without losing card advantage. My opponent plays another gold card. I'm going to keep wounding things. This will give me a Wild Boar of the Sea option if my opponent um, starts pressuring me. Because Wild Boar of the Sea is better the longer the round is, but my opponent's kind of draining us of cards. So I'm going to force them out. All my other gold cards are kind of good in the final round. Because I'm expecting my opponent to have very little removal. Finally get the Mentor card. This is, gonna, this, this is looking to be very close. So It's my opponent's Siri. I'm going to... Siri Dash. I'm going to respond to the Siri Dash with my own. Very high value play there, my opponent made. Gonna open up with a long, uh, put out a longboat ship because the other cards can wait. Okay. Go, I can, uh, I'm gonna lock Siri. Yes, this uh, opens me up to uh, Igni, but it's better that he doesn't draw the card. Okay, I get to draw a free card. It just happens to be the one of the weak, weakest cards I could draw, because it only can do one damage. <laughs> okay, pass my turn. My opponent doesn't have any more cards left. I play Vesemir, and I get another charge. A victory for me against a Witcher, a hardcore Witcher deck. 
Feral Igni is actually a fairly good card to put in the deck, and you can argue for it. But I think that went well. Have a good day, everybody. No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water.